Okay, I think it's safe to say that we all agree trawling through footage is the worst. Finding out whenever something happened within the field of view. You could lose a day trawling through footage. When you're looking at the playback, car present, car missing, car present, car missing, car present, car missing, and then a event occurs. However though, if we utilize the smart search, we can jump to that point in time based on the X and Y coordinates of video motion detection. Let's take a look. Okay, now when you do this, make sure you go into storage, click on schedule, make sure that you have general, motion and intelligent, ticked on for everything. You ideally want three colors per day for all cameras. So I want to click on copy to, press OK, press OK, press on apply. Okay, so now on all cameras, we have video motion detection being recorded. Okay, then make sure you go into alarm video detection make sure that it is on for the devices so i notice channel one is not on there so i'm going to turn that on channel two is on okay then what we do is we go into search let's press on play magnify or enlarge one of the camera views it, ha it can't be in a four-way split it must be in a larger view so i'm going to do channel two I'm going to set a starting point at 11 o'clock. Then click on the little person at the bottom. Click on search. Now, can you see these grid references? Okay, these are X and Y coordinates. Now, if I was to highlight just a couple of squares, so these six squares here, whenever I press on the little person again, the video motion detection playback will instantaneously jump to whenever somebody moved or something moved within those six squares. So in this case here, you don't need to in fact actually wonder when something was taken within the field of view. You could just press on the six squares and it will jump exactly to that point in time. This is the smart search.